Hey everyone, this is Byron. I'm here to testify for Jesus Christ. This particular video goes out to veterans, although it may not just singly apply to veterans, but this is definitely just to veterans. Um, I'm going to call this one Veterans Code Red. And I just now noticed there was a movie called Red. Uh, the R-E-D, Red, stands for Retired and Extremely Dangerous. Now I want you to know, since 2008, the Lord has been giving me dreams, visions, and speaking to me. Um, in the course of this, I've seen times when veterans were going to be captured and taken into um, FEMA camps and not treated well. I've got videos here. Uh, if you, you do a search for the word veterans, you'll probably find them in the title. Uh, I've seen veterans um, invited to basketball games and then they didn't leave. They were rounded up from basketball games. Other events where family members were involved and suddenly the veterans found themselves trapped. Um, one in which I actually saw them dropped into a FEMA camp. Uh, there were dead veterans laying there as they were being dropped on top of um, the area where the dead veterans were being treated very harshly. Uh, things that you might <coughs> maybe perhaps imagine done to enemy prisoners of war. The United States is changing. There is a big push to get um, control of this country in a bad way. You guys, and myself included, we took an oath at one time to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Now, if that Constitution were to be uh, repealed or somehow became none effect, I don't think that's going to change very many veterans' pledge to uphold and defend it. And you're, at that point, considered to be extremely dangerous to the regime that's coming. Okay? So, <clears throat> first and foremost, you're a threat. Secondly, your life is going to be in danger because of what your background has. Thirdly, if you haven't heard, um, if you were to die, and you were all going to die, it's appointed a man who wants to die, um, you will go to hell without Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He has given me dreams, visions, and things like that. And I've seen Him. He spoke to me. Um, so, <clears throat> regardless of what maybe this crazy mixed up world has said or, or told, uh, Jesus Christ is alive and kicking and well, and He is coming again. He is coming to judge this world and to redeem His bride, and He will do so. You are now warned about the situation that you're in, and the first priority should be your relationship with Jesus Christ. Scriptures tell us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That perish, the meaning there, is not death on earth. It's appointed to man who wants to die. Some of us may be around when the Lord comes and not die a natural death. However, the second death is the issue, and that is separation from God and in hell for eternity. And therein lies the issue that we're talking about here. So, <clears throat> veterans, I just saw the movie Red. It, it represented retired and extremely dangerous. You can rest assured you are extremely dangerous to the powers to be who intend to suspend the Constitution of the United States. And you can rest assured if there is a list, and if the list does contain red members, meaning we got to deal with these people, you're going to be in that. And they're coming for you. Okay? They will do it in a nice way initially. They'll invite you to a big celebration of a veteran, say at a basketball game or something like that. And unfortunately, all the folks that check in will not check out the way they checked in. If they leave alive, which they very well possibly will, uh, they're going to leave en route to detention centers. Because no one wants to take over a country that has extremely dangerous people in it. They want everybody to be neutered, I will say. All right, that's the facts, Jack. That's the way it's happening. Uh, I do not believe in telling people we're going to have an easy life here on this earth uh, just because there is a God in heaven. Even those 
who don't do right and believe on the name of Jesus Christ will have tribulation uh, <clears throat> on this earth. And tribulation will and can include death. Thank you.